picture it. Enid 1945. A five-year-old wins first prize with his pony as an entry in the Cherokee Strip Days Parade. He then got to meet his hero, Frank Eaton. You might know him as Pistol Pete. Yes, so what did that have to do with the recent monument dedication in Stillwater? Galen Culver explains. Meeting his hero was a big deal for Harold Holden, but no one could have predicted what those moments between Frank Pistol Pete Eaton and the future artist would turn into nearly 80 years later. To honor the legacy of two legendary cowboys. On a Friday afternoon in September 2024, Holden's friends and family and Pete's, including repeat after repeat, came together again to celebrate the spark created in a boy's imagination. Harold Holden became a celebrated Western artist, a painter and sculptor whose monuments are certainly familiar to Oklahoma State University alumni. Harold was working on a huge likeness of Pistol Pete when he passed away in December of 23. We watched as two artist friends finished his work and carried it off to the foundry this spring. We want to leave as much as what H did uh, as we can. Unveiled. People close to both men agreed this huge bronze, Eaton sitting on an old mound, a little cocked with a faraway look in his eye, manages to capture both cowboys perfectly. It's uh, great to see it uh, come to fruition. Harold's widow Edna May says this day was long in coming. And this is the one that he wanted to do longer than any of the rest of them. Uh -huh. So it's been a good hit bookend. Eaton's great-grandson David Case, who bears more than a passing resemblance, says his family couldn't be happier either. Oh, fantastic. This is the coolest thing that anyone could ever do for any family. Edna May told the audience Harold would have been a little nervous about an event like this and might have needed a bracer just to get through. He, of course, would be fretting about having to talk in front of people and would probably need to make a little detour to Crown Town to have gotten up here in the first place. Neither cowboy could be here to see it, but a whole bunch of cowboys are glad to have a permanent reminder of their undying spirit. In Stillwater, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? That is so great. And the new Pistol Pete Monument stands just past the outfield at Cowgirl Softball Stadium.